Hi everyone, my name is Jeannie Dixon and I'm excited to be sharing with you today this vintage ornament piece demonstration using watercolors. Today I'll be using a 9x12 cold press 140 pound Blick Premier watercolor block Princeton Series 4050 Heritage Brush Set, a Gura Opaque watercolor pan set, and Fine Tech Artist Mica watercolors as well as a container with water and paper towels. The first step is to design your ornaments. I used paper and pencil to draw the original shapes and then scan them and turn them into a digital illustration. Digitizing your design is optional, of course. Using graphite transfer paper, black side down, transfer your design onto your watercolor paper. Attach the original design at the top with painter's tape and using an HP pencil, lightly trace over your design. Once finished, slowly lift your transfer paper and carefully peel off the painter's tape. Make an extra copy of your original design and color it. This is a great way to plan out your color palette and the perfect opportunity to evaluate your color choices and make any changes before you get started on your final piece. Next, using the round size 6 and size 2 brushes, we will begin to paint. Use the small brush for the smaller areas and the medium sized brush for the larger areas. I decided to stick with the smaller brush because it's easier for me to fill in those little spaces between the shapes. The thicker the paint, the more opaque it will be. If you want a more transparent watercolor, use a thinner consistency, meaning more water and less paint. As you can see, the Angora opaque watercolors are vibrant and have great coverage. A useful tip is that when painting around a circular shape, using small strokes makes it easier than trying to paint it all in one go. Take your time to paint each shape. This can become a very relaxing process because it forces you to slow down. Next, using a permanent marker, color in the elements where you will be applying the metallic watercolors. The reason for this is that metallic watercolors look best when painted over a black surface and since we're using the white watercolor paper, this is the perfect workaround. Also, since the marker is permanent, it will not mix with your watercolor paints. Just give it a few seconds to dry before applying your paint. The Fintech set comes with 24 colors that are extremely shiny. Some of these colors will look great over white watercolor paper, such as the gold and the bronze. However, others will look transparent and will not have the same shine as if they were painted over a black surface. The contrast between the opaque and the metallic watercolors is simply stunning. It's so fun to color with a permanent black marker and then cover it completely with shiny metallic watercolor paints. Adding all the metallic details really takes our painting to the next level. If you're just getting started with watercolors, I recommend using cold press watercolor paper because it has the perfect amount of texture. This type of paper is a favorite amongst watercolor artists because of its versatility. Learning to paint shapes using circular motions takes time and practice. The more you paint, the more brush control you will have and the easier it will become. And finally, painting some diamond shapes in different sizes to give the impression that this piece is actually sparkling. And there you have it, our vintage Christmas ornaments holiday themed watercolor piece, ready to be framed and hung in your house or to give as a gift to a loved one. Hope you get inspired to get your paints out and have fun with watercolors.